Hi, I'm Rico and this is 123 Tube. And recently I bought a GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. Now it's quite an expensive graphics card and I'm not the heaviest of gamers. And I also do have a PS4 for the exclusives. So it got me thinking that graphics card, you know, costs quite a bit of money and it's just sat there in the system doing nothing. So is there a way of making money and well, I have heard quite a bit about Ethereum mining and I decided to set it up. Me being me, I started tinkering and I soon realised that with a bit of tinkering using MSI Afterburner, I could increase the amount of uh, hash rate that the uh, card uh, was mining while reducing its power supply, uh, the power requirements quite significantly. So this is just really uh, a, just a quick sort of like show and tell just to maybe inform someone who's starting uh, mining just how to get the best out of their GPU. Now bear in mind I've only been mining for about four or five days but I am a bit of a tinkerer and there's probably people out there who could add to this in the comments and, uh, and possibly come up with uh, far better solutions. But... Uh, Let's just uh, get started and I'll show you what I've done. And the first thing I did is, well these are my final settings here, but what I did is I started off with default settings. So power limit at 100, temp I believe default's 90, core clock 0 and the memory clock would be uh, 0 as well. So what I've basically done here is I've started tinkering with the power limits and the memory clock and the first thing I noticed was the memory clock is what makes a huge difference. Now the hash rate I'm currently running between 38 and 39. Now that's pretty good for GTX 1080 Ti because uh, it defaults around 30 to 32. Now, with my GPU, the first thing I did was I increased the memory clock to plus 1000. Now, that's a massive jump, and that wouldn't work for video games at all. It would crash the computer. But, if Claymore is running, now Claymore is the software that I, that I use for mining Ethereum. If that is already running, you can put the memory clock up to 1000 and apply it. As you can see, it's uh, effective 12,000 megahertz. Uh, it won't crash. Now, the reason being is this Claymore won't ask the GPU to boost. If it boosts, it will crash. If I was to close Claymore now, it would crash. But, as it is now, it doesn't crash. So, if I were to let's say I uh, want to play a video game, what I would do is I would go back to my default for video games, which reduces the memory clock, and then I would close Claymore and it wouldn't crash. So I just wanted to make that clear. The next thing I did was slowly but surely reduce the power limit until such point that my hash rate started to go down from 38 to 39. And the moment it started going down, I stopped. And I basically stopped at 70. Uh, then you mess around with the core clock. So I put the core clock up step by step up to around 60. And after a little while moving it back and forth, I realized that 1582 is the sweet spot on my GPU. Any lower, the hash rate goes down. Any higher, I get no gains whatsoever. So then what I did was just juggle the core clock and the power limit until I couldn't move either one down any further because it would affect this core clock of 1582. So I basically settled on the power limit of 64% and the core clock of plus 60 and the memory of plus 100. And just to show how 
how spot on this is, what the sweet spot this is. I'm going to drop it down 1% to 63 and apply it and you'll see the core clock go down and my hash rate will go down. So go back to 64 and it will go back up and settle at around 1582. And that will do that in a moment. It just has to sort of like catch up with itself. But that's basically the sweet spot. There we go. It's jumped back up now. Now what you'll notice is my fan speed is running at 43, 43%. And the temperature of the GPU is now 56. That was running at 70 degrees before I did this tweaking. So I've dropped it down by 14 degrees Celsius and that in turn has made the fans quieter. I'm also obviously creating a lot less heat. It's summertime here so that's you know a bonus. But also I'm using far far less electricity now. So probably uh, anything up to I would say 20-30% less electricity which means I will earn more money when I'm mining Ethereum. Now the bonus that I have is I have solar panels on the house as well, so during the day it costs me nothing to mine, but not everybody has that. But I just wanted to share this with uh, uh, people out there um, to help people who are starting. So there we go, um, that's it, I've waffled on enough now. Hopefully that helps someone somewhere out there. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.